I'm down here at our uh, at Halet Brokerage lot, about a mile east of the main store, and this Kodiak 331 RLSL just came in. It's uh, pushing just about, just a hair under 7,600 pounds. Spent most of its life as a seasonal camper, uh, and it's it's really nice. This would be a perfect seasonal unit. Big rear uh, living space. Uh, let's jump inside and go ahead and take a look at all these cool features. Jumping up here on the inside, you're just going to see this gigantic rear living space. Lots of room for entertaining, for just hanging out. As I mentioned before, this had been a seasonal camper and it is just perfect for that type of environment. All the way around here in our kitchen area, you're gonna see we're gonna have our big stainless steel sink with residential style faucet. And I wanna swing around and show you just some additional counter space that we have right here, complete with power. Good for a prep area, or coffee makers, margarita makers, whatever it is you need. Dual hardwood cabinetry up above it with a nice little work light. Swinging over into slide number one, you're gonna have your microwave over your range hood. That nice removable countertop right there is gonna give you some additional countertop space just above our cooktop and oven. Right below the refrigerator, nice little drawer. It's gonna pull out for your bigger things like maybe a crock pot or some larger cookware. Nice stainless steel uh, two-way RV style refrigerator that's gonna be gas and electric. So the nice thing is if it is on a seasonal site and you ever do lose power, that propane can kick in and keep all your uh, refrigerateds refrigerated. Uh, some additional storage right above this nice little love seat right here. Little leather love seat right there finishing off our slide. Swinging around to that nice big huge panoramic rear window. That's going to open give you a nice breeze. Part of that is going to be a um, tri-fold sofa and the other side just remains a seating area. So two thirds is a tri-fold, one third is a seating area, but you're going to see the nice pull down shades with some additional cabinetry right above that. Swinging around into slide number two, we're going to have that nice four chair dinette table and chairs. Um, the nice thing about the table and chairs is, for example, I have an Uncle Bob. He's a little bit big, a bigger guy, and he can uh, sit down at the table and chairs and be very comfortable, enjoy a meal, and, uh, and you know, really kind of uh, be a part of the group in that table and chairs. So from our rear looking forward, you're going to see the big opening window uh, right next to the table and chairs, swinging over to that big entertainment system in there. You got the flat screen the audio system just below that AM, FM, uh, DVD, and CD player. Dual cabinetry right below that, so it's going to give you some additional storage. And let's swing around and get a second peek at that nice big kitchen area. The peninsula right out there. Lots of storage up underneath the sink. You're going to see three big drawers and two big cabinets right there. So lots and lots of storage. Again, perfect for a seasonal site. Coming up the hallway, we're going to be noticing uh, this first nice little coat closet that greets us just as you open up the entry door. And just above that's going to be our nice little control panel, all of our switches and things like that. Check our tanks, run our slides in and out, water heaters, things just like that. Just beyond that, you're going to see our entryway into our bathroom. This is a, a two-way entry bathroom, one from the hallway and then the other entry from the bedroom. We'll just shoot straight across. You're gonna see lots and lots of storage on both sides of our sink right here. Gonna have that mirrored medicine cabinet right behind it. Some additional storage just below the sink. And that sink starts our third slide. Uh, foot flush toilet right there. Corner mounted shower right here with the glass enclosure. Gotta love the glass enclosures. Keeps all the water inside and keeps it from splashing out. And uh, let's go jump into the bedroom. You're gonna see just as I peek in right here, let's peek over there. You're gonna see the nice little skylight above the shower for our taller folks that uh, need a little additional room. But this is a pretty high interior. I'm gonna estimate it's probably a six, nine interior in here. So if you're a little taller, you should be okay in this unit. Um, again, with that additional ceiling height. As we're coming into the front bedroom, I just wanted to show all of the storage up here in the front for your clothing. Dual wardrobes, I went ahead and opened one so you can kind of get a peek in it. The mirrored one off to the left mirrors, <laughs> mirrored one mirrors, the one on the right, they're exactly the same. 
two big drawers right in the middle and up above we have some nice cabinetry right up there for even more storage cruising across the roof you're going to see that fantastic style fan just above the bed that's going to help move a lot of air along with the remote right there attached next to it in the slide again this is our third slide it continues into the bathroom a little bit into that sink area you're going to see the nice big breeze window over this huge mattress this is obviously not a factory mattress nice big thick looks like a uh oh it's a denver mattress holy cow somebody spent a lot of money on that so you're getting this nice big huge residential mattress inside of this unit and if i swing around you're going to see a little side table there if you're a cpap user and then you're going to see that second entry into our bathroom through that doorway and that's where that whole third slide is. So from that sink, follow me all the way across the top here to the other side of our bed. That is our third huge slide, complete with the window. We're gonna have a posing window on the other side with a uh, TV mount. It's gonna give you a nice big cross breeze. So this is our front pass-through storage. That's gonna be just below that huge front closet. You're gonna see a lot of aluminum used in there. Uh, that's gonna be used for longevity as well as weight savings. And we've got them stacked in here at Halet Brokerage. So I can't necessarily squeeze all the way around it, but you're gonna see that big awning right there. We have slide toppers coming around the front, dual 30 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack. You're gonna have that extra little light switch right there. That's gonna help you if you have to do anything at night, mess with the propane the batteries, power tongue jack, any of that, you're getting a little additional lighting right there. Battery cutoff switch on the tongue, and just to the uh, left of that battery cutoff switch, you're gonna see your 12 volt deep cycle marine battery there. Scissor style jacks, there's that large front slide, that's gonna be in our bedroom slide and extending off into our bathroom area, so you can just see really how big that slide is. Again, slide toppers on all three slides. You're gonna have your dump valves right here. Looks like we're probably gonna have two gray tanks and one black tank. So probably the kitchen has its own separate gray tank and then your bathroom will have a separate gray tank. All of your hookups right here with again, another light that's gonna help you if you have to uh, access any of that hook or unhook um, late at night. You have that nice little light right there that's gonna give you that additional viewing. Aluminum wheels. This is the big slide that's got our refrigerator and our cook area in it. You're gonna see those nice tinted frameless windows coming around the back. Again, more frameless tinted windows, just gives this a really nice look. Full size spare, standard RV style bumper. That's gonna be a good place to store your sewer hose or anything like that. Factory mounted uh, ladder, it's gonna get you up on the roof in case you gotta you know, check your seals do your annual maintenance, things like that. And let's just keep going all the way around this guy to this other slide right over here. We're not gonna be able to squeeze through there, but you're gonna see again, third awning topper on top of the slide right there, outside speakers, frameless windows. That's gonna be the slide that's gonna house your dinette. Let's go ahead and jump up on the roof and see what's up there. Up here, up on the top, all of our seals look good. It's a little dirty, could use a little scrub up here, but as I mentioned before, this unit had spent its entire life in a uh, seasonal spot, so didn't get moved a lot, and you know, probably sat under some trees, had some leaves and stuff like that fall on it. But all the seals look really good, really good shape. So if you're interested in this unit or anything else we have here on the brokerage lot, give us a call. We're one mile east of the main location. Lots and lots of stuff down here at our brokerage lot. Give us a call, let our sales guys go to work for you, and get you started on your camping adventure today.